In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can display both your sunrise and sunset information on your watch face of your Garmin Instinct first generation solar. Now this will also work if you're using one of the non-solar versions. So what exactly am I talking about here? As you know, this watch has various watch faces and then you've got various data elements that you can put on your watch face. For example, I've got my altimeter reading right here. I've got my notifications down here. Let's press and hold the menu button. And then let's press GPS to select watch face. And then we'll press GPS again. And we'll press GPS one more time to customize it. These values will start blinking. We can go through and we can customize them as we want. One of the data fields that you've got an option for is sunrise and sunset. So I'm gonna go through, I'm just pressing the up or down button here and I'm cycling through my different data fields. This is what it's gonna look like. You'll notice mine is showing 559 and it's got a little down arrow above the sun. The reason it's showing that is because it's 1.48 p.m. The next event that's gonna occur for me between sunrise and sunset is going to be sunset at 5.59 this afternoon. Once that passes, all of a sudden this indicator will point up and it will show me the sunrise information for the next day because that's going to be the next event that occurs. But what if I wanna see sunrise and sunset information on my watch face, how would I do that? You can do it on the Garmin Instinct, but unfortunately you can't do it on every watch face. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. This is a watch face that's a good example that we cannot do it on. So we're gonna press and hold the menu button. We're gonna again press GPS to select watch face. And then we're gonna use the up or down button and we're gonna cycle through until we get a watch face that looks like this. Now it can be any variation of this watch face. The light background with the dark lettering or the dark background with the light lettering. I can go and find that one just to show you. This one. Now I'm gonna press GPS to select it and we're going to customize this one. This watch face is nice because if you cycle through, you're not gonna to wanna to put the sunrise and sunset up here or here, but when you get down here, you're gonna to wanna to choose this first value to be your sunrise and sunset. Same as what we saw on the previous watch face, but when we press GPS and we go to our next data element, if we cycle through, you don't wanna choose this one. Keep going. And you'll eventually get to one that looks like this. And what you're doing now, I'm gonna press GPS to accept it, is now you can see the sunrise, the next occurrence of sunrise. So tomorrow the sunrise is gonna be at 7.13 in the morning and the next occurrence of sunset, which again will be today at 5.59 p.m. So it's pretty simple. Again, this watch face is the only one you can do this on. You can see your sunrise and sunset information on the same uh, screen on your watch face. I hope this helps.